Hello, Scrape. Gabby. You guys are first. Beauty bite. Hey, Island Dragonfly. Lisa. Nothing, Dan. Nice, Brooke. Justine. AM. Birdie. Lovely Jade. Hello. Yeah, I came back. That's my oven. Yeah, I'm okay. I fell asleep again. So I'm like sleep grogged. <coughs> hey, two lover, Anna G. Hey, little nitty. You're off to. Oh, you're off work, Lisa. Nice. Jenny. Hello, Miss Trixie. You can see my CPAP marks. They always stay. <laughs> Chelsea. Lady J, I saw another vlogger on TikTok have the same problem. And her boyfriend did a video, like, lightheartedly making fun of her for it. Hey, Larry. I have my bechamel in the oven. I need a guava. Oh. Hey, Tracy. It's 1.40 a.m. <laughs> Floppy. Guava. Look at this. Ah. Uh, you're at dialysis? Well, I hope it's an easy sesh. And you feel okay after. It's like, I used to have a friend who would do that, so. I'm sitting there for like four hours, eh? Hey, Katie. Guava. Leftover turkey? What's your favorite thing to do with the leftovers, guys? Three hours and 15. You get to choose when to leave. This one is bruised. Guava, what does it taste like? Uh, mm. Oh my gosh, breezes. That sounds divine. Seriously. Turkey sandwiches? It tastes like, okay, a bit like a pear. Like a tropical pear. <laughs> I really, does anyone know how to describe the taste of guava? Mm. It just smells and tastes so good, like. Oh, sorry, AM. Hi, Teardrop. I missed you guys in just this short amount of time. It's like a night routine. I'm gonna try to choke you guys out tomorrow. somewhere maybe just like I don't know maybe to eat somewhere go for a walk guava tastes like guava yeah I did go out driving Tr Trixie but not far mm. these are ripe though I think right they were green hey Belle a new spot A pear with strawberry? Hmm, a little bit. It's like a tropical pear. Really, Kitty? Nice. Hi, Chazelle. They are so good. Like, they're just, they're like probably my favorite fruit right now. Hi, Sylvail. <clears throat> SB, I had um, chicken rice from that Egyptian restaurant with the fasolia and, um, yeah. Guava with papaya. Yeah, and they go on sale every once in a while, the Egyptian guava because Egypt has, it's uh, native in Egypt, this fruit. So they import it from there. <sighs> Ripe guava is softer. Ah, oh, I love apricots. Those are one of my favorites. And oh, we should go to the fruit market. We should find a Syrian fruit market and get them. They always have them from there. Ooh, yum, you two lover, enjoy. <clears throat> Did you have enough to eat? Tell the people. Tell the people. She's she laid right beside me the whole time. Didn't you? She's been eating a lot. I think when you recover, your body needs more fuel. So I've been giving her a lot of wet food because I guess the too much dry food can be more constipating after a surgery. And I'm thinking of cooking a sweet potato and start putting it in her food because sweet potato, squash, pumpkin, they're good for cats. I see. I wanted turkey leftovers, but I didn't have a chance with my husband. The garbage disposal. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, I love this saga. Hey, Justine. Juice. Uh, yeah, I have a tear. Yeah, my eyes are watery. Uh, yeah, the cone is off right now. We put it on before bedtime. And she naps with me, so, like, right beside me. So I just keep an eye on her. But, like, her I, her sutures are, like, it's her, not sutures. Is it sutures? Yeah, sutures. It's looking very nice. Leftover, yeah. Aw, oh, sorry, Chazelle. Yes, Laura. I am a Canadian friend. How's Canada? <clears throat> You're a good girl. You are a good girl. Yes, you are a good girl. Do you want to say hi to the people? Say hi to the people. You want a guava fruit? Come. No, Black Friday. It's called White Friday. Yeah, I know. So I was saying that because Friday is like Juma and it's, you know, it's a, it's a special day. It's a sacred day. She got spayed. Yeah. You want to go in the window, window? Okay, go in the window, window. Go in the window, window. <sighs> Pie Jack. Oh, I've left his pumpkin bread. Snow. Is there good, are there good sales? Sweet girl. Are you a sweet girl? Yes. So, oh, teardrop. We, um, last night we watched The Collector. Um, the quality wasn't good on the app we were using to watch it on our TV, so. But it's, um, very, it reminded me a lot like Saw, like gory like that. It was pretty good. It was pretty good. I, I'm not a huge fan of Saw movies, but Saw liked it a lot, so. He loves the Saw movies. Um, he likes more action-y, gory kind of horror movies. And I prefer more, like, psychological, supernatural horror, you know? <sighs> Capu, I don't have to get it checked out because you just diagnosed me. <laughs> Sales aren't great. I'm not surprised. Storm Boy. No, I haven't. Hi, Bear! What's going on? Good evening. <clears throat> oh, you hate song movies? We have. We were gonna watch the collection. Which one is better, collection or hey, no, Stu, the collector? Um, would I recommend it? Um, yeah, it's worth a it's worth a watch, I guess. But Salah loved it a lot more. He's laying down the law. I have trouble following the rules. I always have. So. Oh, I hate that orange pulp. <clears throat> you love gore recipe? What crazy cat lady is like an actual medical thing? Hi, babe. Ready, set, beer. I had a guava. I don't like Ariana Grande. I'm so sorry. Yeah, orange pulp. I always put things in the cart. I used to. I used to when I used to always order from Amazon and Pennington's and I don't do that anymore. If I put something in my cart, I usually buy it but it's usually like groceries, snap talk up, top ups. Sometimes it was Timu at one point, but no, I don't know. <clears throat> we have, believe it or not, it looks like I, like I do do groceries and tops up a lot and stuff like that, but I do, I'm actually in my like responsible queen phase. Hey Coco, um, I actually like follow a budget. Like we follow a budget and we actually stick to it, you know? Before I used to make budgets here and there and I would never stick to them. I was ne I would spend like every dollar I have. It just burned a hole right in my friggin' moo moo, you know? <laughs> it burned a hole in my rock and roll dress. <laughs> but yeah, so I, I try I try to be more responsible. Like, hmm, am I gonna spend two hundred bucks on on, you know, mascara, all that crap, or am I gonna buy the essence and save that money for a future, you know? So that's um I've never had savings in my life I've, I, I never had like before I met Salah I never had anything you know to show <clears throat> what wrinkles so I'm trying to enter a new era of uh I've been working on a new era of no it's not good to have debts um and the debt system here is like Canada and the U.S. the debt system well at least I can speak for Canada it's people like SB it's normal people to live off of debt you know it's just like so um, I'm entering a res you know financially responsible era, trying to pay off debts and you know just be ahead. <laughs> so that's why I don't like to just indulge anymore, and you know just for the sake of it, 
<clears throat> hey, hey, um, George, the cannabis butter machine was such a stupid buy. Let's name all the stupid things I bought. <sighs> Babe, you would literally be mentally ill if you had to live with me how I used to live. There's no way you would be able to. <laughs> There's no way. <clears throat> Being responsible, it sounds boring, Ploppy. When you get to my age, no, it's it's something that gives you security and comfort and peace of mind, you know? The label maker <laughs> really changed your life. I still have it somewhere. I haven't used it. We should make labels for no reason. <sighs> yeah, you need a certain amount to live with and a certain amount to save you. Hey, Vanessa. I wiped my eyes with it. I don't know, not the part where I blew my nose on it. I'm 40, Chazelle. Okay, I have to get my... How long does it take for something to warm up in the oven? On 350. What did teardrop say? You're putting up your tree or something? Oh, okay, Belle, you're taking us with you to... Why do I keep missing everyone's call? Um, the bechamel leftovers. I'm still young. Oh, I know, but before you know it... Credit card companies in the USA are super predatory. Every store you walk into. Yes, everywhere has a card. I'm on um, live chat, George. Motivation to put up the tree. Oh, you don't need to do that. Oh yeah, maybe you, it's the end of uh, November. The thing is, I can understand people putting it up very early because you know what? It's such a pain to put up and it's a process. You want to have it, you know, as long as you can because before you know it, you're taking it down. Do you guys remember a show called Tree Toss on Much Music? I made, no, I didn't make bechamel SB. When I ordered my food, um, it was only 1.5 KD and I needed like to make the minimum order 2 KD. And Salah already ate, so normally we order together, but so I ordered a bechamel with it for later. So now I'm eating it. <laughs> That's an all day thing. Do you put up a fake tree, guys? Or a real, my mom always puts up a real tree. But I don't know if she still does that, but when I was growing up as a kid, it was always a real tree. And that smell of the pine tree in your house, I can still smell it. Um, but the thing is, uh, my, tomorrow, hopefully. Yeah, the winters are depressing, yeah. It, they feel suffocating a bit when there's a lot of snow and it's freezing. But like, the only problem with that is, you know, Feeberts, my old cat Feeberts, he used to sit under the Christmas tree and he would um, <clears throat> come out with a whole bunch of pine needles that fell on him. <sighs> what happened? Deirdre, maybe she'll let you meet you. I decorate beginning second week of November because it's so much work and yeah, exactly, AM. Oh, they have fake ones with pine smelling needles? Hey, Neil. Hey, bow of the rain. Bow of the rain. Yeah, the cats will be naughty. No, you can't get a pine tree here. You have to get a fake one. You'd have to get a fake one. All those wigs. The Timu wig, not Timu, I got them from Amazon. Or that wig place. All things are possible through Wastok <laughs> Ariel. <laughs> yeah, that's a new thing for me. I wasn't aware of that. That's not a thing in uh, Canada. They're very by the book process, you know? So. <laughs> so, no, not typically Chazelle, no. Hey, Angela. It's all about who you know. Yeah, that's true. Yes, and who can pull some strings, eh? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna check my bish smell. My bish smell. this before we bees it's reheated but and all the cheese and bechamel is at the bottom <laughs> anyways it looks gross but it's good <laughs> who's the best mukbanger ever me 
<laughs> You're sweet, babe. It's not you, mate. Hey, Crystal. I'm tall, of course. <laughs> Foodicus Buticus. Ah! I gotta check it out. Teardrop, sweet. <laughs> I'm glad you had a good Thanksgiving. Hi, Vanna. My Roman name. <clears throat> Conservatorship? What? That's a true thing? True story? The cheese. It's hot, the food. I don't know why it's not melty. Reheated cheese, maybe? Yeah, it's so good with pizza. I can't put it down, Tracy. It doesn't adjust that way. And forge. <laughs> I look like a kindergartner right now. Hey, something hard. I think it was a slice. It needs more sauce. This is your favorite. It's very delicious, and there's so many kinds. Mmm. <laughs> hey, Straubs. So, what do you guys want to do tomorrow? What do you think, babe? What are you having, Belle? You're having Kinders, George? Julia Pacheco? Out for a drive? <clears throat> There's certain things I realize I don't really want to do alone, so it'll have to be an activity I want to do I can do alone. Or maybe Solo will come. But if you're not busy, babe, take us out on the town. No, strawberries that didn't open. <coughs> SB, really? It's good. It's really good. But yeah, not many people do that. <laughs> I don't know, I never heard of them, frankly, Wiener. I'm really hungry when I wake up. I'm trying to think if I had a dream. I think I had a dream again about missing my flight. For some reason when I booked the flight, I didn't check the time. So it's like the day of the flight and I'm like, wait, what time is my flight? Imagine living that way, living on the edge. Oh wait, makes you feel happy when you make someone laugh. Yeah, you're a fun guy. You make us laugh, babe. Hey, Vivian. Peter dry as hell. Oh. Yeah, but... Hmm. It's fresh pita. So it's really good, I don't know. It looks like dry pasta, but there's so much flavor in the sauce and seasoning. Thanks, babe, I love yours too. I don't think you've ever met anyone like me before, but... So the meat has like, maybe tomato-y, I, I don't know, it has like spices. And then it has like a creamy bechamel and cheese. It's like such a comfort food and filling. I slept till like one. So maybe I won't even go to bed in the morning and I can. When I first started cooking, I was a kid and I used to do my own cooking shows in my grandma's kitchen. Like every time I would go there, I would play. I can't, oh, I know I named my cooking show. I think it was just Chantal's kitchen. Um, this is all, I can't, there's no more food. 
It came with like a tray and in, in a tray. I'm eating bechamel pasta from what I ordered earlier, my dinner. By the way, how much is 2KD, babe? 10 bucks, not even 10 bucks. Let's be real. A talk boy, I remember those. Six, six US, those two meals. The one I had earlier, this. That's insane. I'm almost done. Where'd all the bread go? What the hell? I ate two pitas? There were only two pitas in there? Mm. I should take you guys to a Mexican place one day. <clears throat> yeah, today's not a really good on day. Unfortunately. SB, that's all we eat at is the cheap restaurants. Well, not only, but mostly. <laughs> but we know the good ones. If you ever need any ideas. That's all I know is the good ones. We have a good um, affordable fish place picked out that we always go to. And because we're regulars, they always give us good deals. Like, um, not on the price, but they give us like extra things. Like the fish place will sometimes, I think they know that we love the eggplant, right? So they give us extra pickles or extra tahini or uh, the roasted place extra chicken. They gave us four pieces of extra chicken last time we ordered from there. And they're huge. The broasted, oh my gosh. Excuse me. It was just gathering dust. <laughs> That's actually a pretty good one, babe. <laughs> I believe it. Ah, Tracy! Babe, especially ours. It's been in the same position. <laughs> <laughs> I recently vacuumed in here, but like the only carpet we really have is in here. So, and the bedroom we have a carpet, but I vacuumed the, I vacuumed that one out long ago. So that's why I keep it, you know, in the room I want to vacuum. Like, where's the line? <laughs> we walked into that one. Did the treadmill move? The treadmill uh, has dust. I gotta dust that off. I need a pickle. What am I doing with my life? I didn't even have a single pickle. Oh, I can't have the rest of these that I bought that I don't like. Where? My hair. Is it gone? Hmm. I'm gonna save this juice. It's valuable. Oh, pickles. Put some fresh cucumbers. That's a good idea. That's what I'm gonna do, I think. Or put some cabbage. I like pickled cabbage. Awesome, Amy. I go through a jar of pickles a week and drink the juice. <laughs> good for leg cramps. Yeah, because there's electrolytes in it, eh? I go through pickles very quickly, yeah. Especially the smaller jars. You know, I could eat about four pickles a day. There's maybe eight and 10 to 10 in a jar. I have beezers all around the world. Let's do some pickling. Babe, I found a book called How to Solve 50% of Your Problems. So I bought two. <laughs> That's a good one. Spicy and sweet pickle juice. Oh yeah, the sweet and sour. Uh oh. That made me laugh. That was a good one, babe. So I bought two. <laughs> what is your picture for Trichola? I'm reading a great book about anti-gravity. I can't put it down. <laughs> I love bad jokes. I love them. <laughs> you hook us up. I don't know, man. Sleep depravity, li uh, just life. The desert, what? Babe, I need some suggestions where I can take them for a drive. Nothing is gonna be the same by myself. Going to see the camels. 
I won't go see the camels by myself. I won't even go in the elevator. I'm never going in the elevator by myself. Make pickling spice pajami? Yeah, that's because this one has makeup still. This one doesn't have as much. Wait, let me fix that. No, it didn't work. <coughs> Take a shopping. Brooke, don't you want to see all the wonderful cafes here other than Starbucks? There's so many fancy cafes. Maybe I'll just take you guys to a fancy cafe, but we eat out once a day, like a budget to eat out. So I'm trying to think. Maybe I can eat and then go out. Rip boiling water, you will be missed. <laughs> oh, that's a funny one. I love it. <laughs> you will be missed. Mall bees, stop comparing your drives in Canada and here. It can be beautiful driving in Kuwait too. Just see it as a new standalone thing. If you, yeah, it, SB, it's not that it's, um, it can't be a beautiful thing. It's just that like, I'm a bit, I'm scared of it, you know, because I don't know the place. But if I get lost, there's GPS, I guess, right? And Salah is just a phone call away. Baby, you'll probably be constantly like, are you there? Are you okay? <laughs> Maybe a cafe, cafe bees. I want to look up. There's always like people on TikTok. They make lists of like the best cafes in Kuwait, stuff like this. <clears throat> There's a lot of nice aesthetic places, but <sighs> you need to learn your area. I know. Yeah, I'm comfortable like driving in our city here in our area. <sighs> but sushi. Yeah, there's a lot of sushi. There's a lot of ethnic food, you know. Fancy Kuwaiti cafe. They're the best business owners. I can send you some. Yeah, just let me know if you know any, but uh, yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot even just out Al Coot Seaside area. That's my favorite. <laughs> it's Julia. She's ceiling in the window. She's just laying on the couch. I can see her. I like keeping my eye on her, so. <clears throat> when I was napping, she, I, you know, she was right beside me. And uh, I kept like, you know, you can't watch her every second. I guess that's why the cone, but I don't think she was bothering it. There's no evidence of that. I don't know if I'll be able to go back to bed soon because now I slept, I had a good nap. Maybe I can go in the early morning and coffee bees. Go for a drive early before everyone is out. The streets will be bare. What do you think, hon? What do you think of this, this decision? <laughs> Pajami, really? My Canada is really coming out in this stream. Look how short my paws are. <laughs> oh, there we go. Some digits helped, but if I don't put my digits up, <laughs> he has some laughing gas in the in, in the room. <laughs> I want to see Howie. Yeah, that was a good portion of pasta. I'm not super full, but I'm pretty. I'm good. Smoke time. <sighs> yeah, I could go for some shisha. Salah as a passenger. <laughs> would you want to? Would you want to do that, babe, or would you be too nervous? I I think I would be nervous driving with him in the car because. I'm afraid to like mess up or I don't know, I get nervous with other people in the car with me. That's why I always drove alone a lot of the time. No, he'd be a passenger prince. <laughs> Passion, passenger prince. <clears throat> Abby, she, she just had her um, post-op appointment. Um, she's probably gonna have to go in a few more days, probably, you know, to get checked up. But um, we're gonna ask the vet. Hey, energy egg. And um, she had to have uh, an injection for pain uh, antibiotic and <clears throat> I don't know if they gave her anti nausea this time. <sighs> okay, maybe I am tired still. These weird sleep patterns are not healthy for me at all. <sighs> Treadmill, no. Maybe tomorrow. What did the skinny queen say to the chat? Nothing, she was asleep. <laughs> Good one, Chantal. Now I'm awake. I woke up at one because my alarm went off. How long was I sleeping for? I don't even know. Maybe a couple hours. Yeah, driving a car increases your mobility. Ask Milk T about the wig. <laughs> she would know. No, she never curls hers. 3 a.m. is the devil's hour. Yeah, in Islam too, they say anything after Isha. You're supposed to go to bed after Isha. Lol Cow Live just went live. I don't like the show whenever Keem started. It has to be the three of them. Can I donate a new wig for someone who wears a wig for five years straight? I don't have time without changing it. I feel so bad. Yeah, I get some new ones. Exactly. <laughs> I 
actually, I do have, I found two of my wigs the other day. They're so, they're so not in. I have to wash them and everything, but I don't wear them. I can't stand it. Sell the wigs for 1K to the reaction channels. <laughs> Honestly, guys, I'm not feeling like traveling. As it gets closer, I don't think, I'm, I don't know. We might, we might wait a bit because I'm still recovering from Thailand. Seriously, I just want to like, I like being at home. Well, you can never become a citizen of Kuwait unless you're Kuwaiti, so. But uh, you can become a resident. Where are you at? I'm in Kuwait. I mean, like, I'm feeling the mental effects of Thailand, ECP. Not the physical, like, I don't have jet lag and my body's fine, like, recovered from that. But, but mentally, I'm just, like, not in the mood to tr Airports, I'm gonna get hives just thinking about it. <laughs> You become a resident through uh, sponsorship of some kind. So family sponsorship, like your spouse or something. Um, parental sponsorship up until a certain age. <laughs> I think 18. Or through a work visa. Most expats work here. Save your money and travel in 2025. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, true golden girl. You don't want to get sick out of country. Rip potato corner. There's a place here called potato, but no corner. No, Bethany, I didn't. I didn't have the weight loss surgery. Beezing live twice in one day? Yes, just for you guys. Last joke for tonight. What do you call a side cup of coffee? Depresso! <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> you are spoiled. <laughs> I have a Mr. Potato Head. Let's drive and get one. Not at 2.30. Maybe we'll go at 6 a.m., 5.30 a.m., maybe. <laughs> that sounds good. Okay. 2.30. Am I going to be tired? I could probably sleep again. I don't like my dreams I've been having lately, so I don't really want to go back to bed. Sort of itchy nose. If I get grossed out by food in a dream, I don't want to eat it in real life. Maybe I should get grossed out by everything then, in this case. One time I had a dream that I was eating hot dogs with pineapple chunks inside of it. Yeah, I've been to Florida and New York, Abby. And I ate at a McDonald's. I ate a chef salad at a McDonald's in New Jersey. Bolting eyeball. She wasn't well, so we postponed the 20 minutes treadmill for tomorrow. She must do it unless she wants to forget the taste of ice cream in her life. <laughs> I think I could sacrifice ice cream for no treadmill, actually. No I'm kidding. <laughs> it's hard when you don't agree on things sometimes. So let's crack him down. <laughs> Yeah, I just, yeah, I'm so afraid of missing flight. I show up three hours early. By the time I finish security and everything, it's maybe an hour. And then I have two hours. I don't want to like peruse or browse around and I don't know. Hello. I just like was in my own zone eating. You know what? I only had one cup of gravy. I don't think I went up for seconds, did I? You drank the gravy. Yeah, but I had to sneak it because there was a couple that were right beside me. I didn't want to disturb them with my gravy drinking. <laughs> What's going on? Gravy dispenser. Yeah, because I asked for an extra gravy. And then the, the lady behind the counter said words I think I'll never forget. Come see mom. Come. Come. She looked at me and said, oh man, the gravy here is unlimited. <laughs> it's all you can drink. I was like, oh wow. <laughs> That's a glorious. Only at the airport though. <sighs> I think I just took two off the bat, maybe. Because you can just grab as many as you want. Guys, did you ever got a gift from Santa like we always watch in the movies? <laughs> yeah, every every Christmas, babe, that's the thing. Kids think Santa exists. And then whenever kids get older, they tell them no Santa. And then we hate our parents for a while, but then we get over it. So Santa is a big bag. It's true, he is. Nobody calls out him on animal cruelty for using the reindeers to pull his ass around. Santa's the OG big bag. The innuendos. Ron is gift bree breezing king, yes. Gift breezing king. <laughs> Fancy face got the bees, okay. Uh, well, ready set bees. <laughs> She's still recovering. Sunday will be a week since her surgery. I'm gonna have one more guava. That's so sweet of you, Ron. I don't want the bumpy one. Thank you. Oh, this one's really ripe. Maybe I should get it out of the way. Oh. It smells. Thank you, thank you.
the TV decoration. It's hard. It tastes kind of like a pear. It's very tropical tasting. Mm. Ah, it's so good. Oh my gosh. Okay, I gotta stop because I can eat the whole bag. They're my favorite fruit. They were on sale. I love when they go on sale. It tastes like a mix. It has the texture of a pear. It tastes a bit like a pear mixed with a strawberry and passion fruit. I'm tired, yeah. No, I rubbed it on my jeans. Yeah, it's good, eh, Marilla? <laughs> Chantal's bulging eyeball. The street food? There's not really street food. There's little restaurants. Um, oh, Ron! Thank you, Ron! <laughs> Thank you, Shook Ron! <laughs> Shook Ron, get it? Ron. <laughs> what, what? Who got it? Okay, mandarins in the can are good. Those little mandarins? Only people I don't recognize get the memberships, yeah. If you remember how to get to your that big mall, maybe we can do an Ikea bees. Oh, that big mall Ikea bees. Yeah. Sumo oranges. Ready, set, sit and spin. Thank you, Ron. Show him some support. <laughs> I think he has more subs than me. <laughs> or no. Yeah, around the same. Because <sighs> your name is checked after 100K. Yes. Thank you, Ron, for the support. We must show you support as well. My favorite fruit is grapes after they've been crushed and aged in a barrel. <laughs> Strawberries. That big mall. I'm always waiting, Buttercup. <laughs> hey, Avril. Gerd, oh yeah. No, oranges are like, they give you heartburn, man. Hey, Bear? Orange juice? Orange juice! Grapefruit, I love grapefruit. Sugar. <laughs> I had strawberry, blueberry, cucumber, purple onion, and feta salad. What the hell? That sounds good, actually. I don't usually like fruit and vegetables mixed together, but I don't know. I think I could. Fat and fabulous. <laughs> no, the block, the bulging eye. It freaks me out. Why do I look like this? Why do you look like Quasimodo? Can you take us to Ashes? No, I don't think I will uh, go there, strawberries. There's other places to go. You know where I wanted to go? The... Baskin Robbins with the Hardys beside it. Remember, babe, that place? <laughs> but that's a bees in place. The angle of my camera, you think so? I don't know. Buttercup, I've never gotten membership anywhere and I go to many channels. <laughs> yeah, that's weird, eh? I don't really get gifted. I got gifted once. No ice cream until you finish your 20 minutes treadmill. Better luck next time. Aw, oh, yeah, I forgot about that, darn it. I better do it before I go. <laughs> you and your husband ever want a USA bees? I can show you some cool places. That one, that's nice of you to offer, Ron. What area? By the way, amaretto? Oh, no, I can't drink that. I got so sick on that. But I drank it with grapefruit juice. Because whenever I was, like, a teenager, I went to my friend. My friend slept over. And we went to this, these two popular girls, they were twins. Their dad went away and they invited us over to drink. They raided their, their dad's liquor cabinet and uh, they, he had am amaretto. And for mix, we just used grapefruit juice. I had half a glass like this, this much amaretto and this much grapefruit. USA bees. I have a lot of uh, American beezers. Oh no, it's almost three. If I took liquor from the liquor cabinet, you put water in it. <laughs> so bad. Okay, small potato. Thanks for asking. Oh, baby beetle. <laughs> I need my glasses. Sorry. Even as bulgy as my eyeball is, it doesn't do anything for your eyesight. That's for sure. I said that in one sentence and I couldn't breathe. I saw... I, I subscribe on TikTok to Canada's TikTok if Justin Trudeau comes on and... Canadians are getting a tax break. Please. They're just not charging GST on some items or whatever. <laughs> How about erasing everyone's tax debts and starting fresh? <laughs> Imagine. <clears throat> Only certain items, right? Who was the worst prime minister? I can't remember. Stephen Harper. But people. <laughs> That's good. Maybe CD. I haven't really gone many places. I need to, to go out maybe tomorrow. Oh, Doug Ford. 
<laughs> what? He pooped in the park? I can see it. I can see it. Rob Ford was a crackhead. Literal. He used to hang out with all the, like, the, the freaking gangs of Toronto and do crack. <laughs> he probably... How much of uh, the government's money do you think he used on that? He was funny. Canadian politicians are interesting. Yeah. Justin Trudeau used to be a pothead. Probably still is. I mean, it's legal in Canada. And he did blackface Justin Trudeau a long time ago. He was It was for a Halloween costume. But I think that was before blackface was, like, ever recognized as something, like, racial. So now it's resurfacing, you know? But yeah, still not an excuse. Still looks very bad. Stuck to Nashies in wheelchairs. Exactly. <laughs> the freaking eyeball profile pics. I love them. <laughs> I used to watch, like, the cartoons in the past. I'm pretty sure they were low-key racist. A lot of them were, but the ones from my time, I used to watch these old cartoons with like those black crows and I don't know what they, you know, or no, that wasn't, I don't think the crows were racist, were they? No, I used to watch, so these, did you guys ever used to watch these old cartoons that had, uh, heck, even Apu is racist, like a racial thing now. Do you remember there was an old, old cartoon with like vegetables? That was one of my favorite cartoons. There was like a, a cartoon about a carrot that somebody stole the carrot's babies and the carrot was like, Veggie Tales? Is it? And he was like, whoa, my babies. And then the cop was like, an egg? Um, my tummy hurts. The picture. <laughs> Everyone has a bulging eye picture. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> What about the Leghorn Foghorn or whatever his name is? Always trying to get with the poor chickens. Man, a lot of those Looney Tune friggin' characters were rapey. Eh? Pepe Le Pew, Foghorn Leghorn or whatever. Like, what the hell? Oh, Foghorn Leghorn. Oh well, yeah, I reversed it. Casper the Ghost, yeah. We're taking the bulging Bible back from the haters and making it a love song. <laughs> love sign, yeah. <laughs> Cabbage Patch Dolls, yeah. Anyways, guys, I think I'm gonna like hit the hay. I don't know, I'm kind of tired. I used to love Care Bears. Who's that kind of Betty Boop? Yeah. Because I make the bed rock. <laughs> they are! <laughs> it's 7 Eleven Beaster. I changed my pick to fit. <laughs> Here's another one for you guys. <laughs> oh, no, you can't see it like that. Illuminati eye. Those are only for Beezers. <laughs> yeah, Bali. Oh, yeah, I find it funny. I can make fun of myself. Oh. I love my bed. Yeah, Pepe Le Pew was rapey, and so was uh, Leghorn, Fo Foghorn Leghorn. He was creepy, trying to get all the chickens. They couldn't show Pepe Le Pew today, imagine. Elmer was packing some heat. <laughs> Butterball turkey emoji is so horrible. Ironically, kids are much more violent now, right? Oh. Babe, I'm sleepy. So whenever I get up, maybe we'll go be somewhere. What do you say, babe? Prefer the old days, me too. I miss like, yeah, go to bed. Yeah, Gina. You're sleepy too? Okay, let's, come on, babe, yellow. Yellow, babe. Okay, good night, guys. <clears throat> See you later.